Hi, my name is Trinity, and if you are here, well, you've come to watch me do the booktube newbie tag. Normally I say you came to talk about books, but today I'm actually going to be doing the booktube newbie tag, and I've seen it around, I don't know who started it, I have nobody to tag, nobody tagged me, but since I am new to booktube, I figured you guys could get to know a little bit about me. And if that's not fun, then don't watch this video. I don't know. Or, you know, stick around, get to know me a little bit better. Could be fun. Why not? Okay, so the first question is, why did you start this channel? So, <laughs> 2020, that's why I started this channel. Um, I have been in the book world for a long time starting when I was younger that I worked at Borders and um, since then you know I've kind of branched out and it kind of even goes back further than that my mom used to run a bookstore and I grew up in a bookstore <laughs> and I kind of got to know authors and I didn't even know it <laughs> when I was young and then I worked at Borders which was really popular stop for authors to come in at my particular store and so I made connections pretty early and I have just kind of been in the book community for a long time and I've been on Twitter, I have my own book blog. I kind of figured this was the next step to finding more people who wanted to talk about books. This just seemed like a good platform for it. Been watching BookTube for a while. So I was like, okay, I can do that, kind of. <laughs> I can't edit yet, but meh, we'll just, we'll figure it out. It'll happen. Okay, my next question. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? I guess this kind of ties into the why did you start this channel? So I am an avid fantasy reader. I love fantasy. However, I have found that most of BookTube is very generalized to fantasy or contemporary and there's not much in between and so I really wanted to start this channel and I really wanted to kind of talk about books that aren't being talked about I love urban fantasy I, there's so many genres that I love outside of those two which I don't really like contemporary but you know, fantasy, all of the fantasy blogs are so generally like fantasy that I'm just, can we talk about something else? <laughs> and not that I don't love those channels. I do love those channels. And I don't know that I'm going to bring more to the table, but I'm going to bring something different to the table because my reading likes are almost across the board. And so I wanted to be able to find people like me who read most genres. Like, it's great to have fantasy, de dedicated fantasy YouTube channels. That's fine. I will watch your YouTube channel. It'll happen. But I was really wanting to put something out there that catered to more than just fantasy, I guess, or more than just horror, more than just mystery thriller, you know, kind of just broadened the playing field, I guess you could say. I don't know. Something like that. Okay, next question. What are you most excited about for this channel? I don't know. It's kind of an escape for me. I am a stay-at-home mom. 
I recently adopted a son and me and my husband recently adopted a son and it's kind of like my escape from reality for just a few minutes. <laughs> so I'm excited to be able to talk to more people about books and I'm excited to find people like myself, like I said before, who read more than just one genre or who like historical fiction or I don't know, like just more people to talk to about books because I like to talk about books my husband's not a reader and my son is only kind of a reader and my best friend is a reader but I don't get to talk to her every day so I just wanted a place to talk about books and I guess I'm excited to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on the books I'm reading and even if you hate it I just want to know why and I want to talk about it could be fun Next question, why do you love reading? Why don't I love reading? <laughs> um, I love reading as an escape. You probably won't see me read a lot of nonfiction because I try to get away from reality when I'm reading. I really want to read about other people, other worlds. I just, I want to be entertained. I want to have fun. Some of my favorite books are just fun and there's nothing wrong with that. I read for entertainment. I read to have a good time. I read to explore new worlds. I read for magic. I read for emotion, for characters. There's so many reasons that I read and I guess the thing that I should say is I don't read to learn. Nope, that's not why I read. We have the news, we have the internet, we have so many resources for learning. I don't read books to learn. I read for entertainment. Okay, next question. What book or series got you into reading? This probably isn't gonna surprise anybody. But Fear Street from R.L. Stein, yeah. I have been a fan of horror for as long as I can remember. My newest endeavor into reading is fantasy. And I've only been reading fantasy for about five years. But horror, I have read since I decided reading was fun. <laughs> And we have a few questions that are going to get us to all of those answers. So I'm just going to keep answering the questions. What questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? Do you want to edit my videos? Do, do, do you want to show me how to make better videos? Lighting? Can, can you show me what, what to do with my lighting? Yeah, that'd be about it. <laughs> okay, next question. What challenge to starting a booktube channel do you think will be hardest to overcome? Time, time, time. I planned when I started doing this to do three videos a week. It hasn't happened yet. Um, I my time is taxed and that is because again i'm a stay-at-home mom and that it's 2020 i've been homeschooling my husband sleeps all day so i don't get a lot of time to myself and when i get time to do youtube it's usually time i want to spend with my family so it's kind of like a catch-22 but yeah, time, time is going to be the challenge. We'll see how the rest of 2020 goes. <laughs> when did you start reading? So this is an interesting answer. 
most booktubers I feel would tell you they have read for forever, for as long as they can remember. Not the case with me. I was an avid athlete when I was younger and I didn't think reading was worth my time. My mom, like I said, worked in a bookstore, ran the bookstore, and I had no interest. I played softball, I played basketball, I was on the swim team, I played rugby, and so to sit down for any amount of time, I, I just, I didn't have it. I didn't have the time to devote to reading. And so I read the Fear Street novels, the Goosebumps, the all kinds of horror novels whenever I was younger. And then whenever I was in high school, things shifted. And I read Harry Potter. I read so many books. And when I was in my junior year in high school, um, I was so obsessed with Shakespeare that I could quote Mercutio's speech and I was failing my English class and my mom went up to the school to talk to them about me failing English because she knew that this was not a subject I should be failing. And my mom asked the teacher, you know, well, or the teacher said that I wasn't interested. And my mom said, well, what are you doing? And the teacher was like, Romeo and Juliet. And so whenever my mom heard that, she was like, are you kidding me? And she made me <laughs> recite the speech from Romeo and Juliet <laughs> that I was very familiar with and I got in so much trouble. But they did come to find out that I probably should be in the honors classes and I wasn't getting challenged enough and I was like, you're not teaching me anything. Can we move on? And decided it wasn't worth my time because that's the kind of kid I was. <laughs> and so after that, uh, they put me in the honors English classes, which included women in literature. And my teacher assigned us the Bean Trees by Barbara Kingsolver. And I fell in love with that book. Now, that wasn't necessarily the book to get me out of reading horror but it did set me on the path to an English degree. And I can't say I ever got out of reading horror, but I have branched out since then, obviously. You guys probably know me for fantasy, but I read everything now. And that's going to play into the next question. So let me read it. Oh no, it's going to play into the last question. So the next question is, where do you read? Right there. That's where. Either that or on my couch um, in the living room. This is my library, if you can't tell by that sign right there. But I, I also kind of can just read anywhere. I always have at least three books that I'm reading. One's a physical, one's an ebook, and one's an audiobook. And I tend to read to, I tend to listen to a lot of audiobooks because of my dyslexia. We've talked about that in future in previous videos. I really like listening to audio while holding the physical. That's my preferred way to read. Um, but I always have an ebook, I always have an audiobook, I always have a physical book anywhere I go. So, yeah. And what kind of books do you read? So, I read everything. Uh, if you guys can find me a contemporary I'll like, I'll read it, but it's not likely. I've tried it. 
I don't like it for the most part, but I read fantasy, horror, mystery thriller, historical fiction, just history in general. I there's there's not a whole lot I don't like. Urban fantasy was my favorite for the longest time. Paranormal romance. Paranormal romance is great. Yeah, it's really hard, really, really hard for me to say there's a genre I don't like. The only one I've come across, and I, I can tell you why, I don't like fluffy stuff. I do not like lovey-dovey types of stories. If I'm going to read a contemporary, it would probably be a hard-hitting contemporary um, and not some romantic love story. I just, I don't like it. I'm not big into fluff and that, I just, eh. I want impact in my stories. And that is a big thing that spans all genres. So that's pretty much what I want from my reading. Entertain me, give me some impact with characters and motion, and we can go as far as impact and emotion make me laugh easy well maybe not easy but you know i'll read just about anything because i like just about everything as far as writing styles go and all that i say that i don't like huge casts of characters I don't like that. There's some exceptions in that, but most of the time I don't. And huge cast of characters, huge cast of characters, don't switch up your tenses, your perspectives, quit doing that. Just going to give me a headache. And I don't like mixed media. Mixed media is another thing that really bothers me. But that's because I have ADHD and my brain's going to say, what the heck just happened? But yeah so that is the booktube newbie tag for me i hope you guys had fun i had fun and i'll see you guys in my next video bye